Slip casting is the first step in a long process that the mixed clay, which comes from Wales, Cornwall and Staffordshire, will undergo before it reaches your kitchen table in the form of your favourite polka dot mug or Union Jack teapot. The slip casting process starts early in the morning when the team of 12 men will arrive between half past five and six o'clock to fill their moulds with liquid clay or slip which has the pouring consistency of carnation milk or double cream depending on your taste. Liquid clay is poured into the moulds which absorb the moisture from the slip. Each of the moulds are left to set to a certain thickness depending on which pattern they are. A small piece, like an egg cup, will take about 27 minutes to reach its set thickness. A Dove tea light holder will take less than this, closer to 15 minutes, and a mug will take 40 minutes. The bigger shapes take longer. A teapot will take about 50 minutes and a jug about an hour. This timing is important and precise. Leave a mould too long and you'll end up with a heavier, less elegant mug, which will have to be discarded, the clay reused for another casting. But if the moulds are tipped out too early, the cast will be too thin, so skipping off work early on a Friday afternoon is a bad idea. When the moulds are ready, the wet clay is tipped out, leaving a cast of each shape. The shape is then smoothed on the inside, sponged and finished off, then removed from the mould and set onto shelves to dry. It now has the consistency of an Easter egg left to warm slightly too long in the sun. To stop the shape distorting as it dries, a ring is put around the rim, forcing the piece to hold its shape. Each piece is left to dry overnight or for at least 12 hours. Every mould is cast twice in a day and about 3,700 pieces are cast daily, depending on what sort of pieces are produced in that day. A run of teapots will take longer than a run of egg cups, of course. <laughs>